basically gone completely away from how they played in the first half. No ball movement. James can't get that on the foul. David Lee with the rebound. Definitely caught him on just below the neck there. David Lee hit him with a shot right on that rebound. LeBron was looking for a call. But he hit him right on that upper, upper uh, neck area. 20 Let's see if we can take a look at it in a 20 second here. Look like as he was going for that rebound. Yeah. Right there, David Lee caught him. We'll be back shortly here as James remains on the floor for the Cavs. And we're back 25 seconds left here and LeBron James has yet he's finally set up here and we'll take a look at that play again and Kevin that's kind of one of those soft spots you're just yeah. not used or accustomed to catching much force you know you get hit there you get a stinger and it goes right up your neck off to your shoulders I think that's what LeBron's experiencing I had that one time and I tell you what that was one of the most painful mm. things that happened mm. to me and it bothered me for weeks afterwards just yeah. get an elbow just hit the right spot between your shoulder blades and it really, it really kind of knocked him, knocked LeBron down and he took a good shot he's up now and he's walking off but you can just see I just think that everything pinched up on him and it's almost like he had a stinger and you saw him motioning to that area and he caught a little elbow there and obviously painful. I don't know what's more painful, their performance tonight or that elbow to the back of the neck. But and you know what? You saw who went and helped him up, Kyle Corver. He said, Don't get hurt, you get me all those open shots. <laughs> I'm shooting 50 I'm gonna be back from the soon. Three. Yeah. This is yeah. why I came here. Exactly. Do not be hurt, please, big fella. Not at all. That's one of them things as a veteran when you come to a team like that you see the, the star guy on the floor I witnessed that in Chicago playing with Derrick Rose and coming Ball. to San Antonio 81 58 here is our score at the end of the third now let's send it to KG in the area 21 We're back and players only on TNT is presented by Welcome back at moments ago LeBron James Looks like he's going to call it a night. So, have that neck looked at. And, guys, I guess we can see it's a foregone conclusion that the Spurs are going to win this game. Yes. Yes. That'll put our good friend Greg Popovich within nine of moving to tie Phil Jackson. And let's take a look at our weekly edition of Who You Got.